Hello and welcome to Edge Science. Today we are going to discuss why glass is transparent. Transparent means light can pass through the substance. The motivation behind the making of this video is someone asked me that uh, why glass is transparent. And he also told me that uh, he has seen in internet that glass is a liquid molecule and in liquid the molecules are spaced far away than in case of solids so as the molecules are separated away so light uh, can pass through these separations and as the separation between the molecules in a liquid are big enough than the solid light passes through this separating distances but this is absolutely wrong then i also myself check the internet and what i have found this in some websites it is mentioned that glass is a liquid some have also mentioned that glass is a viscous liquid with a very high viscosity now viscous liquid means every liquid has some viscous property and due to the viscous property it offers a resistance towards flow of that liquid for example if we take honey and water water can flow on the floor very easily but honey cannot because honey is more viscous than water just to give you an idea about the viscosity of several liquids let me take some olive oil olive oil is 100 times viscous than normal water honey is thousand times viscous than normal water but if we think about pitch which is used in building the roads pitch is also a very very viscous fluid and its viscosity is 230 into 10 to the power 9 times of the viscosity of water a glass is not at all a liquid a glass is an amorphous solid amorphous means the molecules of the glass is not arranged like in crystalline solids a crystalline solid is formed when the molecules of a particular substance are situated in an order maintaining a particular distance between them for example if we consider this railing and if we consider that this rod is one molecule this is the second molecule this is the third molecule and distance between each of them are fixed so this forms an one dimensional crystal whose molecules are black rusty and like a rod in crystalline solid molecules are arranged perfectly in an order but there are other type of solid which is called the amorphous solid where their molecules are not arranged in order when the molecules come together to form a solid they cannot maintain the order structure like the crystal a glass is also an amorphous solid in liquid the layers can slide past one above the other but in case of solid the layers cannot slide past one on top of other now let's come to the chapter opening question which was why glass is transparent the answer lies within the atomic arrangement rather the arrangement of electrons inside the atoms will decide which solid or which substance will be transparent and which will be opaque to explain why glass is transparent I consider myself as photon. Photon is quanta of light. Now quanta is some technical term. Q 
you may consider that these bricks together they form these entire structures likewise photons form the light we see if you carefully look into this structure all the bricks are not equal in size and shape if i consider this brick as one photon so this photon contains more energy than this smaller photon now suppose i am photon and i strike on a substance inside the substance we have so many electrons now suppose i am being the photon getting absorbed by this electron and my energy is so much that this electron can be lifted from ground to this state first the electron was lying on the ground after absorbing me it is now lifted to this state this is its excited state now if this electron absorbs myself and cannot emit it it will produce the opaque substance like this so light strikes on this substance absorbed by this electron that means the photon is now dead and this is now opaque substance but what happens in case of glass but in case of glass what happens is that energy levels are placed so high but i am the photon the photon of visible light do not have that much energy to bring one electron from the ground to that high that's why i will not be absorbed by this electron the electron will remain in the ground state and i the photon will pass through the substance quantum mechanics says that any quantum mechanical particle like an electron or maybe neutron or uh, proton can reside only in certain energy levels it can stay here it can stay here it can stay here but not here not here so it is basically the arrangement of the electrons the arrangement of the energy levels of the electron which will decide what will be opaque or what will be transparent please do mention in the comment section how do you like the video thanks for your time